Oh my god, these birds are going nuts. Birds went nuts. Hmm. I don't know if you ever seen this show called You Can't Do That on Television, but uh, yeah, I'm on season nine right now. But can you see me? Hopefully you can. If not, I'm sorry. That's not the point of this video. But I want to start something that others have never done before on YouTube. And that's where I want to take shows from back in the 90s, 80s, whatever, and talk about their episode and in their day what their episode was about. Meaning... If it was about drugs, how they handled it back then, to how people handle it now. And still get the message across the same way they did, but in a different way. And that's what I'm going to do on this 80s show called You Can't Do That on Television, which is Nickelodeon Canada show. And, of course, season one, episode one, was called Live. So, of course, we can't do that one. And then the other one is broadcasting can't do that one the third one is nickel and dime which is about money and about saving money and not being every time you get money go waste your money this episode says the first episode is featuring water yes in this show you get water if you say water and if you say i don't know you get slime and they, they had, they tried musical guests, but then they realized nobody was liking the musical guests, so they took the musical guests out. Then they always do locker jokes where they tell jokes about each other in the locker room, where they come out of lockers. And you can watch this on a free website, or you can watch it on Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime. So, Peanuts. No, we're not going to do that one. Repeat. Okay, I can't do that one. So, season one, we can't really do. Then they did one called St. Patrick's Day. Well, they talked to the kids about how... What St. Patrick's Day means and everything. But for me, when St. Patrick's comes around, it's my birthday. And I get to celebrate my birthday, and, and if I want to, I could do a parade. I could watch a parade or whatever. Um, backstage was a really cool episode. It's where they show you... I love when shows show you behind the scenes of how they film their shows and movies, too. It's just so mind-blowing how, how it all works out. Um, can't do that one. Oh, they did a show called Boring... Talking about how the kids got, how the ki how kids and people think that certain things are boring and how they get bored. And they're basic basically teaching you that if you're bored, then back in the 80s, this is stuff you could do. You could watch TV, you could read a book, you could write in your journal, you know, things like that. But here in the 21st century, you can get on the computer, get on your phone, talk to your friends, read a book, go outside, play with your friends, you know, things like that. Um, now I'm into season two, and they did one called Work. Now they did two of these. They did one called part-time now tell me now. Okay, sorry, batteries died. 
I was talking about work and part-time work where you can they did one and I think it was in season eight where they did part-time jobs but in season two they did one just called work where people get jobs and how, why they should get a job and if you get a job how you can pay your bills and certain things like that so that's and then they had one called transportation where basically you learn that they are basically teaching you back then that you you can't get anywhere in life unless you're in transportation which is like a bus a car you know to take you places and yeah the way they wanted to teach kids back in the 80s and you're going what why are they teaching this stuff well if you lived in the 80s you'd see why now that you live in the 20th century you're like it doesn't make sense to do that because everybody knows about all that but back in the 80s a lot of people didn't now there was one episode talking about strike meaning you do a, if you are told to do a, a job and they're not treating you fairly or giving you the raise that you think you deserve then you and the workers will go on a strike until you get your demands meet it's basically what a strike is dating dating is where they were teaching you how to ask somebody out how to go on a date what to do on a date things like that and any of these episodes that I'm talking about if you want me to go more in debt and explain like if you've never been on a date before and you would like to know what to do on a date on your first date or whatever let me know in the comments down below and I can do that and also if you're liking this new series that I'm doing and you want me to do it on other 80s and 90s and 70s shows just comment down below and let me know and tell me which episodes, which shows and if I know that show and like that show I'll do it but you can also do this too then there was one called fitness where it teaches you why you should work out get muscles why you shouldn't be fat like me <laughs> and why you should why it's, and, and the healthy food you should be eating to stay fit and healthy and so yeah safety safety they taught you how to be safe when crossing the street safe when you're at home by yourself safe when you talk to people on the phone just how to be like the safety of don't eat Bart's burgers because you never know what's in the meat if you haven't seen the show you don't know that what that means and then they did one called sexual equality where people are equal men and women are equal they have rights and they should be equal if a guy wants to be a cheerleader then he should be if a girl wants to play on the football team she should be allowed to that sort of thing they didn't really do anything with colored people and things like that because it wasn't such an issue back then like it is now but it would have been nice to see how they did that and then they did one called personal hygiene why you should take care of yourself, clean yourself up, wash your hair, take a bath, stuff like that. Then they did one called smoking. Why smoking is bad for you and why you shouldn't do it. And the only one on the show that was allowed to smoke were the adults. There's only two adults. But they, the kids were showing how drugs and... Because they did one on drugs, which is kind of like the same thing as smoking. But they used candy as the drug um, to show that drugs are bad. And then they sh did one called crime and vandalism. Where it's not okay to vandalize people's properties, people's things, and how crime happens in the world. And how they... They were saying they don't want you to go rob somebody, murder someone, you know, stuff like that. 
and then there's the drug one and then that I just talked about. oh yeah peer pressure they also talked about that was big when I was going to school well they would talk to you about someone peer pressuring you and hey man sm smoke this weed with me man um no man I don't want to well, if you don't smoke this weed with us, then you're a nerd. And we'll get the whole school, you know. That's peer pressuring you into doing something you know is wrong and don't want to do. Now it's with drinking. And now they probably talk to you about more than just drugs and stuff in school. Now season three had cosmetics. Where girl when is the right time for girls to wear makeup and if you do wear makeup how to wear it and and stuff like that addiction is where you're addicted to something like you're addicted to be on the computer 24 7 you're addicted to a certain show you're addicted to to your boyfriend you know something that you're addicted to that you always got to do always got to eat it or always got to do the you know that sort of thing. Pop uh, popularity. Popularity. Where you're the popular kid in school and everybody looks up to you and and it's not all of, and they were saying it's not all about being popular and having all the friends. It's about being nice to people and it doing what everybody else does just to be popular isn't a good idea and then they did one on fashion on what you should wear and shouldn't wear vacations talking about um, what you do on a vacation and if you want to know what to do on a vacation let me know in the comments down below and I will tell you what me and my family did when we went on certain trips and how we prepared for it or how you should prepare for a trip things like that rip off which is where you buy something and get ripped off let's say you buy a pac-man game that's that's only worth five bucks but they're charging 20 bucks for it that's a rip off uh then they did one on bullying b-u-l-y-i-n-g bullying being bullied in school so I just can't say that word right I never could I have trouble with my R's and L words and basically talking about how you get picked on in school and how to handle that and how not to let it bother you stuff like that and then the gang look at playing music and other forms of I don't know what that one is television where they talk about being famous on TV and, and how being famous on TV you don't get to do a lot of things like normal kids get to do and they also talk about watching TV and stuff like that too sports they talk about different sports you could play um and just fun sporty things and heroes the heroes one was really interesting because they talked about who their hero is and why and and that doesn't have to be like a famous person it could be your mother you know it could be your dog it could be whoever the not so fair show which is basically people not being fair and treating people the same no matter what. Growing up. Oh, you're too young. You you can't do this. You're not a teenager. Or you have to wait until you're an adult to do this or that. That's what that episode's about. And it sucks being a young kid and being told, this movie's rated R. You can't watch that. You know, then there's media where they talk about how shows target people that are watching TV or people that are reading the newspaper, how the media gets you to do things. 
Then they talk about pets, which is very cool. Talking about why they own a pet and all this stuff. And if you want me to talk about the pets I have, let me know in the comments down below, and I will. I'm not really an animal person, but they're my mom's pets, so I can talk about them. Then there's one about medication, where they used candy as medication to show why you should take medications for certain things and why you shouldn't, and why you shouldn't take more than you're subscribed to take. And then there's one called Rules and re Regulations about why you should follow the rules. And there's another thing on this show that they have that's really cool. Will they go... Will they do skits that are the opposite skits? So basically when you say, I love... Tr I love smelling like garbage and rolling around in trash. But really... You hate it. Or, I love Brussels sprouts, but really you hate it. That's pretty much what they do with the opposite sketch. sketch. Then they talked about the future world, what they think our future would be like later on in life. And I'll read you the description. Christina tries her hard... Uh, Christina tries her hand at verse ways of pretending, of predicting the future, including a crystal ball and tarot cards. One of the few episodes to use multiple slime recipes. Christina first slimed where, as her second one is more skin with the recipe using throughout. Okay, they're just talking about slime. But basically, you, you know, I love how shows like predict the future and then years later you see if they're right. And then they did one on nature where they go camping and talk about how they like the outdoors, why it's good to get fresh air, stuff like that. And cooking is a good one too where you learn how to cook food and, and why you should cook food and and then they did one called Kids versus Adults on certain things. And that was pretty And then rumors, they teach you how it's not cool to spread rumors because rumors are not the truth. Rumors are just a bunch of lies. People telling lies for no reason. And then there's one where they teach you, they did one on classical music to teach you that classical music is not as boring as you think it is. I still think it's boring. Manners. Will they teach you how it's polite to say please and thank you. And could you please do this for me. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. You know things like that. Fame. Will they talk about being famous again. Then in season 5 there's courage. Will, courage. Will they. I don't know how to really explain courage. In our time. But they were like courage is in your. Like, you you need to jump off this rock into that water. You need that courage for people to pump you up and say, you can do it, you can do it, you know. And then, how to make friends. That's a good one. Um, hobbies. Telling you what their hobbies are and saying it's okay to have these hobbies and why and and things like that. And then they did one on magic, which is really cool. And then they did one on clubs, where you don't have to join clubs j j when you're in school. You can join clubs outside of school, like the glee, like you can join the golf club, stuff like that. And they also talk about how it's cool to join a club, even if it's not a popular club to join, but you like it. Like the chess club. Then they call, talk about foreign countries. And teach you culture from those countries. Which is really cool. The marketing. They teach you how to market your product. If you want to sell it. And how to do it. History. They just tell you about 
why uh, about about history and and the gang goes back in time and and they talk about this woman that's from history and why she's a popular person from the history you know stuff like that body parts where they talk about your body and, it, and telling you it's okay to talk about your body because a lot of people are too scared to talk about it and things that are developing and trying to have the perfect body and you don't need all that technology where they teach you about the technology of TV how the slime works on TV of course in the 20th century we'd be going we'd be thinking technology is for phones and, and computers game systems stuff like that moving talking about why people move and trying to make it okay that if you're moving how it could be scary but how they make it okay and stuff like that then they have a halloween episode and that's just a fun episode where you get to dress up in costume and just do the traditional Halloween stuff. And, and the same thing with Christmas. And the same thing with holidays. But with holidays, they do all the holidays and teach you what all the holidays stand for. They even teach you what Halloween is and what Christmas stands for. But with fun. And, and that's cool. And then they talk about college and why you should go to college and politics and why it's okay to talk about politics and your beliefs and and it's okay for you to have those beliefs but now in the 20th century yes it's okay to have those beliefs but don't speak them out loud to people because then it's just gonna start a fight then they talk about science and that's really cool then they talk about why parents get divorced and that if you have a parent that's divorced or if you live in a family of divorce, it's a, they make it okay for you, basically. And then they have one called family. Why people love their family and why you have family and why family is always there for you. And then they talk about malls and hangout places where you can hang out talk with your friends, go to the arcade, you know, things like that. And then they talk about seasons, which is like weather. And what to do if you're caught in the weather, what to wear, things like that. And then they talk about war, because back in those days, war was a big issue. It's not so much now, but it it, it was pretty cool to watch them talk about the war and, and that how to protect yourself in case war breaks out and stuff like that. Jealousy, where why people get jealous and why you shouldn't get jealous just because they have something you wish you had or they're doing something that you wish you could do or they're dating a guy that you wish you could date, you know, stuff like that. Wealth, again, that has to do with money. Then they talked about outer space just for funsies. And they just had fun with that episode doing outer space. And I love outer space. They even had aliens and they did like, they made it look like people were flying in the air. And it, it, was, it was pretty cool. Wildlife and animals. That was pretty cool. Now, trying to break the world record. That was pretty cool watching that episode of them trying to break world records but they also teach you why you want to set a world record or why people do world records things like that identity crisis this one was a really good one well they did they weren't sure if they identified as a female or identified as a male and they really talked about that and in the 20th century you really gotta talk about it I wish there was more shows that talked about it because a lot of people don't know how to identify themselves if they don't know if 
their man or a woman or want to be identified as a man or a woman. Like, hey, you know that guy Justin on YouTube, he identifies as a female and wants to be called a she and a ma'am, but yet he's a dude. He's gay. He loves men. So, yeah. Romance and dating. That goes with the dating thing that they did a while back. After a while, when you do the show for so many years, it's good to update with n newer fans in case you got new fans watching. Plus, you got new crew, crew and new people working on the show. And, and there's probably more to say about it. Fear, worries, and anxiety. What you're scared of, what you're worried about, and what you have anxiety about. Relatives, talking about like your aunt, uncle, grandparents, stuff like that. That was pretty cool. Revenge, meaning even though they tackled, it's okay if you're getting bullied what to do to avoid the bully, how to talk to them, how to get them off you, stuff like that. Revenge is, if you tried all that stuff and it's not working, then get your revenge. Like, if they did something to you, do something back. Then they talked about movies, what movies they liked, and why people like movies, and things like that. Which is very cool. Very, fairy tales and legends and myths well people think something's gonna like some people say Bigfoot's real but that's a myth because a lot of people say they're real and some people say they're not and if you believe they're real then they're real if you believe they're not they're not it's a myth because it means it's not true. Okay, that was a bad example. But I hope you get what I'm saying. Legend is... Oh my god! It's Shaquille O'Neal. He's such a legend. Fairy tales is stuff that's... Just in... Like Cinderella's a fairy tale. Something like that. Pop music? Just like... The classical music, they did one on pop music. Then they did the know-it-alls. People that think they know everything, but really they don't know nothing. And they never, they will fight you tooth and nail that they, that they know it all. And that they're not, never wrong. Parties, where they teach you about having a good party for your birthday. Uh, gar garbage. They I don't know why they did an episode called Garbage, but they did, and they teach you about how it's good to take the garbage out and and why it's good to take the garbage out, why it's good to recycle stuff like that. And then they talk about TV commercials and why there's so many freaking TV commercials during your shows. Then they go back and talk about countries again. Oh no, country. Isn't, no, they weren't talking about countries as in foreign countries. This one was countries as in living out in the woods, being a farmer, having pigs, stuff like that. Back to school, where they talk about why it's important to go back to school and get in as an education. And, and, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Illness. That one's a disgusting one. I recommend if you're not into growth things, if you see throw up and it makes you gag, or even them pretending to throw up makes you gag, don't watch that episode because that makes me cringe and it was disgusting to watch. But it basically talks about when you're sick, what to do to make yourself feel better. Enemies is kind of like bull bullies, so yeah. Contest was a really good one where they talk about contests that you can have 
just for fun or you can do it and give out prizes things like that Sen censor censorship which is they would say a cuss word like fuck and bitch and asshole and and all those bad words and they would bleep them out wouldn't let them say it now I think they pretended to say those words and they just bleeped them out I don't think they really said those words because they were just young kids mostly but they were just saying how it's something what YouTube does where they tell you you can't talk about COVID you can't talk about violence you can't do this you can't you know that's just bullshit. And then they talk about poverty and unemployment. How unemployment works and how you don't want to get unemployment. And then there's the part-time job I was telling you about earlier. And then they talk about how sleep is important and how you need to get your sleep. And then they talk about your home and why you need why you live in it and why you clean it and all that stuff mysteries and crimes is kind of like the same thing as the other episodes luck is where they talk about people having luck having good luck and bad luck and what it does to you and then savings is teaching you how to save your money your food different things uh alistair was saving money to buy a car books and reading why it's important to get out there and get off your devices and stop watching TV and read a book adoption which got canceled in the USA on Nickelodeon because they were abusing adoption they were saying that bad kids got adopted and that people should adopt these bad kids and I disagree with that. That's not what adoption is about. If you want to know what real adopting a kid is all about, um, I don't know from experience, but I do know how it works and everything from what I've seen. And I can make a video about that if you like. Just let me know in the comments down below. Also, you can watch the Crazy Middles, who that mother and father decided to adopt siblings and how they went about doing that you can watch some of their videos on that it's pretty entertaining and pretty cool to to watch then they talk about the city life anniversaries and how what is an anniversary and why do you celebrate an anniversary stuff like that and i don't know why they did one on smells it was bad enough they did one on garbage. And then they do one on smells. Well, you need to take a bath. You stink, you know, type of thing. And then the last one is the worst of you can't do that on television. I don't know what that implies because didn't, they didn't give me an episode of that on the free website. On season nine, they teach you about choices choices that you make are they good choices or are they bad choices and then chores why you have chores in your house and then communication where you they teach you how to talk to somebody and how to like if you don't know that person but you're trying to make friends with that person because you want to be their friend how to do it and yeah, they did another one on fitness. Don't know why. Maybe they were running out of things. And then they did clean, cleanness. Because they did the smelling one. So they're like, oh, we, let's do why you should be clean. Security. Why there's security. Why you need to be safe. You know, stuff like that. Politicians. I haven't... These episodes I haven't seen yet, so I'm not sh Because I've only seen bits and pieces of the show back in the day. And I'm thinking time... In order... Okay, for time it says, In order to make 
more cash, the show producer decided to make the show in black and white to make it easier to watch. When they find out that black and white TV shows do not make much money, they decide to switch back, only to end up in a silent movie. The episode features black and white slime and contains classic silent movie style pie fight. Jordan Aaron's first and last episode, along with Simo, Simo, I don't even know how to say that person. But anyways, yeah, so that's that. Mistakes. The mistakes you make. That one's going to be a fun one for me to watch. Punishment. Getting in trouble for things you did that you know was wrong. Beliefs. What do you, your beliefs, like, you believe in God, you believe in Bigfoot, you know, stuff like that. Age. That's a good one. That's where they brought back a lot of the old cast members for one episode. And with age, you learn that in certain age you can do this, certain age you can do that, you know. Excuses. How to make up excuses. But you never should use them because excuses never work. Parents always find out. And then looking cool, which is kind of like the fashion episode. And then losing things. I can't find my keys. Where the hell did I put my key? You know. You get it. Future. They did future again? Hmm. First time. Like, not when. Like, in the 20th century, we're thinking first time as in first time you had. First time you had sex. But for this show, it was probably like first time you brushed your teeth. First time you walked. Stuff like that. Um, sports, they did sports again, they did smoking again, Inter uh, oh, embarrassment, what, what embarrasses you, and then that's it, oh, there's a season 10, <coughs> because I think this only goes up to season 9, the free website that I'm at, that I can't talk about. Well, they have episodes like Blames, Why You Keep a Secret, Learning. There's not too many episodes of it, though. Huh. Weird. After 11 years in production, You Can't Do That on Television is canceled. Only five episodes were produced with production ending in February. Nickelodeon finally slot slime in was also held this season with the winner being slimed at Nickelodeon studio in Orlando and not in Ottawa as this series had already been canceled by then okay I don't know anyways I'm gonna get going I'll talk to you guys later if you like this and want me to talk about other shows and their episodes and how it's different from Back when it was shown to now, I can do that. Later, haters.